Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with more Bravely Default 2. In the previous video, we rescued uh, Princess... What's her name? Gloria, right? Yeah, Gloria. And yeah, and now off screen I did some grinding, more so for the jobs rather than anything else. Um, I made sure every single job that they all had was at level 5, uh, which is where they're at. So yes, that's good. And as you guys can see, I am at like level 7 is like the average. Uh, but yes, uh, so everyone has like, so I have everyone on with the class I think is their best class so far. Uh, Seth has his, uh, you know what, I'll just do this. So Seth has the Vanguard and Freelancer as the sub. Uh, so that's good. Then Gloria has the White Mage and Black Mage, which I think is great. I think she'll always be kind of more focused about our White Mage duties, but of course, later on down the line, I will probably have her subcategory be something different. Uh, or maybe I'll have her main, uh, job be something different and her subcategory would be White Mage. I don't know. Uh, Elvis is, of course, our Black Mage and his Vanguard is the sub. And then I have Adele as the Freelancer and White Mage, because again... It's good to have, like, at least two white mages. Obviously not as the main, uh, job, but at least as, like, a secondary job like that. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I basically did all the grinding in that dungeon there. Uh, you don't really get that much experience. You get enough experience. It takes some time, but it also didn't take too long. Maybe it took, like, maybe 30 minutes or so for me to get all those classes up to level 5, and that's only where I went, so... I probably won't be doing a grinding session like that uh, for a while, uh, anyway, until uh, we get some more classes and such, and when I want to upgrade these classes further. It doesn't look like Dag and Selena came back this way. We should be okay for now. Cool. Well, they'll not pose much of a threat without their asterisks anyway. I must take this opportunity to make a report to His Majesty. He will wish to strengthen the city guard. I will join you. Thank you all so much for coming to my aid. Hey, don't mention it. You did the same for me once, remember? Aye, and with two shiny new asterisks to show for our efforts. Oh, before you go, Sir Sloan, I wanted to ask you about what you said back there. Oh yeah, we got blessed about by the, the crystal. Crystal's blessing? Ah, but of course. Tis a matter of great import, yet one which, alas, will not suffer a brief explanation. Perhaps we might speak of it upon my return. Uh, sure. I can wait. You are a gentleman. And All a right, scholar. Eh? How about us lot go about our business as well and meet back at the inn? I have a few things to take care of myself. Very well. Until then. You're a gentleman and a scholar. The party go their separate ways. Well, shit, dog. Side quest. Hey, here we go. Be sure to help out those in need. Talking to people with blue marks over their heads will enable you to undertake special side quests. In the course of completing them, you'll learn more about various characters' backstories and occasionally acquire some unique items while you're at it. So get questing. It's a rewarding experience in every sense of the word. Sweet. The travel log. The travel log section of the menu gives you access to details of any further of any quests you've undertaken, settings relating to quest makers, events, and party chat scenes you've previously come across, any tutorials you've unlocked. So it's a good place to go if you're ever in need of a nudge in the right direction. Go ahead now, town. You need to pack a tent. I already talked to you. I don't... No, stop. Stop. Well, there has to be some side stories in here somewhere. Or side quests, whatever they're fully called. Sub stories, you know, getting the Yakuza juices flowing. Like this kid, this kid has to have one, right? No, okay then, well, fuck you, kid. Here, let's see the panoramic view, that has to like... Ah, there we go. Oh, and we got a new, some new weapons and such? Okay, I wanna check that out. So, I, I actually got a shit ton of money too, as you guys can see. That's, if that's anything, that's the one thing that that, that like quote unquote grinding does, is like it gives you a shit ton of money, so. That axe is a better axe than the one I currently have. Alright, wait, 
it would go up Nah, not by much. I mean, it'd go up by one, which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. Anything I should probably give. Uh. Gloria. Maybe I'll wait. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly like what I feel like would be the best equipment to give to these people for now. I'm good for now on equipment. Alright, someone has a sub story. I wonder where that nice young man's got to. There's something I wanted to show him. You really saved my skin from those monsters, you know. How about my how about taking my old boat out as a little thank you? Oh my old boat out. Go on, hop aboard and explore the sea. The objective maker has been my Okay. Hey there. Are you all right now, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, it's you. You really saved my skin back here, you know. I'll have to think of some way of paying you back. I have to double check to oh, make sure I was there's recording. no need for anything like that. Oh, sure. Mm. I won't hear of it. Imagine a debt like that left unsettled. But what to give you? Hold on. You're a sailor, aren't you? Uh, I am. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, you could hardly be anything else, dear. Right, come along with me. I've got something to show you. Okay. <laughs> I know it's the boat. I read the thing. Oh. Here you go. A little boat to say thank you. A boat? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. It's too much. Nonsense. I want you to have it. I don't get much use out of it at my age anyway. And besides, the old girl would prefer to have a handsome young fellow like you at the helm, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right about her being old. But she's in great condition from what I can see. She's wonderful, isn't she? And sturdy as anything, too, I can promise you that. Not ocean-going sturdy, perhaps, but fine as long as you don't stray too far from shore. What say you hop on board and give her a whirl? All right, you've convinced me. Don't mind if I do? Give that old girl a whirl. <laughs> That's the spirit. Who knows what awaits over the horizon, eh? Or who you might meet. When sending the boat out on expeditions, you can choose to use online functionality. While this is not necessarily ex while it's not necessary, expeditions taken online will yield slightly better results. Would you like to use online functionality? Please note that your nickname and your character's name will be shared when you go online. Sure. Chosen to use online functionality while exploring. You can change the setting from the option menu at any time. How did the old girl treat you? Beautifully. She sails like a dream. Which is why I can't accept your offer. She's too good to just give away. You can't? Hmm. Fine. If it makes you feel better, 
How about I lend her to you instead? I'll look after her, and you give me a shout whenever you want to take her out. Just come and find me and say the word. It's really no trouble, dear. Well, uh, I guess that will work. Thanks. Right, then. I suppose I'd better be heading back to town. Okay, I should join you. Oh, try to steer clear of any monsters this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Quest completed. I got some teleport stones. Oh. in the ocean. I got a pretty stone. A small experience orb. Small JP orb. A booster button. Explore to make the most of your downtime. Congratulations, you've gained access to a boat, which means you can go exploring. This is a great way of earning rewards when you're not playing, and it's a feature which works specifically when the system is in sleep mode. Expeditions can last up to 12 hours, so it's well worth setting sail before heading out somewhere or going to bed. Exploration has many benefits. For example, you can discover experience-boosting orbs, JP-boosting orbs, and delicious HP-boosting buns. And there aren't, and these aren't the only treasures and treasures on offer. What's more, if you're connected to the internet, you can get a helping hand from others and even earn greater rewards. Uh, it's a great way for busy people to level up more quickly, so be sure to set sail on an explore. Creation expeditions whenever you're going to be away from the game for a while. So is this something that I can't do while playing? Okay. Alright, anything else going on? Looks like we just gotta hit the story now. You know, how about I take a rest first? Because of what? It was only like 80. It wasn't too much money. Yeah. Firstly. I would like to thank you all once again for rescuing me. And give me and this lovely And since you coat. went to such great lengths on my behalf, I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly. Okay. My name is Gloria. I am, or at least was, the Princess of Musa. It has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knight's Nexus might be kept at bay. Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloane, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, it is plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... I have no memories. There 
by those who have seen you sunk forever. Who cut Is your life what the matter, forward. boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> You'll not believe in us behind either. Two may be company, but a crowd's just what I need right now. Go. Oh, don't say you're getting bored of me, Elvis. Ah, as if I'd ever even think something like that. <clears throat> uh, seriously, though, we've a good reason to be coming along for the ride. Those last asterisks we got our hands on helped me read a little more of Lady Emma's old book. And from what Sir Sloan was saying, it sounds like our crystal thieves all have asterisks of their own. So, if we join you on your little adventure, I reckon my favourite special stones will be falling into our laps left and right. And we'll be getting more you'll job also have our stones. expert help to call on. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> well, far be it from me to contradict the man who pays my wages. As long as we keep moving, I'm happy. Aye. Uh, r remind me why that is again? I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared from our village. And I don't really have any idea where she might be. And I need to earn a living if I want to keep searching. So Legit, I was about to ask why is Adele function. here? It can't be more. It can't be just All a simple. Right, well, you're right. paying me to do a. it, so. Right. Well, here's hoping so we'll she's looking for her sister. Okay. Thanks. It would seem that we are all of the same mind. What thinkest thou, my lady? Hmm. Very well. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. I would be honored if you were all to join us. All right, eh? Oh, no, that's settled. Let's head to the tavern and seal the deal over a wee drinky, shall we? With a wee drinky. You really love the tavern, huh? And what exactly is wrong with that, eh? A quest be gone without a little send-off ceremony is no quest at all as far as I'm concerned. I love ah. Elvis. I think Elvis is my favorite character so far. Just because he loves himself a drink. Oi, I love myself a drink. I'm gonna drink myself silly, you bastards. Has he said bastard yet? I want to hear him say bastard if he has not. Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Listen, huh? I'm not gonna be joining oh. you on our mission Hi because there, then you'll be way too overpowered. I, I can that I might have an a enemy. chance to speak with thee. Tis mostly of matters long since past, but wouldst thou be so good as to humor an old man? Humor me, oh boy! I too was once favored with the blessing of the wind crystal. To think that half a century has passed since that day. I hate. Wait, you were? Indeed. He has to be from the and one of the other games, been so right? Favored, I did set out with a band of stalwart companions in search of a means by which the knights he Nexus has to have been might right? be defeated. One among whom was King Godric. Princess Gloria's own grandfather. I, I, I shall I, never I, forget yeah. the experiences we shared. I share. also hate the fact that the switch Not was like, long as I like my daddy, you don't move. Hither and yon we journeyed, righting wrongs and vanquishing injustice. In time, we came to be known as the heroes of light. Ah, such fond memories. So you were a hero of light? Didn't you call me the same thing? Indeed I did. <laughs> Thou didst jolt me most jarringly back into my past, boy. I must admit. To think that it has been 50 years, and that now, after all this time, the blessing of the Wind Crystal should fall upon one such as thee. It pleases me more than words can say. Thou art mine heir. Thou art the one the crystal hath chosen to take my place. This being so, I must ask that thou swear by thy life to protect Princess Gloria, as I myself once swore to protect all those of her line. Of course. Then it is settled. Now, away with thee to bed. We rise with the dawn.
Morning. Good morning. Greetings, one and all. <sighs> How do you all look so fresh this early? Ah, good morrow. Uh, my lady, oh. ere we depart, there is something I would present unto thee. Though it paineth me to think of it, there may come a time where thou must needs protect thyself. May this blade serve thee in thy time of need. Well, it is time to set out for our next destination, Savalon. If our suspicions are correct, the water crystal awaits us there. Gloria, Elvis, and Adel join the party. Boop, boop, boop. So Solon is uh, accompanying the party. No, you're passives. I somewhat already do. Uh, abilities aren't limited to those you actively use during battle. You have been making the most of your passive abilities as well. Open the menu and select abilities every once in a while to check in which passive abilities are available. Divine Rod displays a number of unopened chests nearby. Lunar Power during the night magical attacks and other stats are increased by 4% of and 4% of MP restored each turn. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have been doing great about those as a matter of fact. I'll show you guys my abilities right now. I have Divine Rod, Pain and Gain, and Dungeon Master. Uh, I think I have Dungeon Master on everyone. And, uh, no, I think Divine Rod's only need for one person. Uh, Pain Again, I think, is on everyone, too, for now. And then, uh, my two magic people have Luna Power and Solar Power, which is basically the same thing. Uh, you know, in all honesty, I should probably put those on you, too, because you, uh, have some magic as well, but not every. There we are. I think that should be now. Okay. See if there's a, okay, there are some side quests here. Let's pick those up. Let's do a party chat first. The story of the crystals. Hey, Gloria, could you tell me a little more about the crystals? Of course. According to the legends of Musa, they are gifts from the gods. They maintain equilibrium and keep calamity at bay. I used to love hearing the stories about them when I was a child. Long ago, in the age of the gods, the four elements, fire, water, wind, and earth, ran wild, untamed, and unfettered. The land shook and crumbled, the seas raged, flames consumed entire continents, and the wind howled relentlessly. Humanity suffered greatly, but then, one day, an envoy was sent down from the heavens. Mankind was to receive a gift, four crystals to keep the four elements in check. And just like that, the land grew fruitful, fruitful. the seas clear and calm, the fires warm and bright, and the winds gentle and soothing. And so we were able to live in peace at last. Wow. Not the kind of thing you want winding up in the wrong hands. Indeed. Which is why they must be recovered without delay. So I have a sub story there and there. Okay. Oh, I got another party chat. The Broken Stone. It's just a stone. Why do I feel like I need to bring it back with me? Is everything alright? Yeah, I was just looking at this. I found it on an island during a boat trip. A stone? Yeah, I picked up thinking it might be valuable. But no, whatever it is, it's broken. What a shame. So much for your priceless find. Yeah. Still, it's pretty in, pretty in its way. I think I'll hold on to it for a while. Hmm. Maybe it will come up for something. Ah, uh, the quest is down here. This is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. 
Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. You're I'll drunk you as what. fuck. Why don't I help you polish off that little law in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait, how exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Uh, okay. So, who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. I, I just ran into him in here and I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. Uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> First of all, the water's trying to rise. And that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved. Which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You'd think that was bad enough. But things got <laughs> that was. worse. I was making my way home empty handed when I was attacked by a snagging. Is it a habit? Sahagin. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked that I dropped my precious knife. It's a very special knife. See, my master gave it to me when I became a fully fledged fisherman. A gift from your master, eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle a Sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife. Your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? <laughs> well, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? Recover the fisherman's knife from the Sahagin. Uh, God, nothing's going right for me. I can't catch a f any fish, and now a horrible Sahagin stole my precious knife. It was a gift from my master. Can you get back for me? Okay. Get some darts. Drinking going on that game, of course. Ah, oh, come on. And what's your trouble troubling me? Not again. Don't tell me that cinema has pulled another disappearing act. Oh, I think I know where it is. Maybe my son keeps wondering now if he's promised not to leave the town and I trust him. I really do, but I still worry. Would you find him and tell him to hurry back to his poor mother? I think I know where this boy is at. He's probably the boy that's over here. He's the boy that I can't ever interact with. Oh, uh, yeah, he's the one right here. Yeah, what do you want? What's that? My mom's worried about me. Uh, but I haven't found anything good yet. It's a birthday soon, so I'm looking for a per perfect present. I don't want to just buy it in the shop, so I'm trying to scavenge something special. Can you tell I'll be back soon? Uh, don't breathe a word about the present, will you? My boy's right here in town, you say, and you're absolutely sure he's not doing anything dangerous? That's a lot off my mind, I must say. I know you have to cut the apron strings at some point, but I don't think it would happen so fast soon. I don't think we're up so fast. But as long as you're safe and sound, then I'm happy, and I'm ever so grateful for you to go into the culture. Well, thank you. Huzzah! I just want to make sure, like, another quest hasn't been added. Selena deserted me. Oh, look, you had tied to them. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. 
One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Hologradders went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh, perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. Oh no, you've got a thing. Ah, Crystal, you got a whatever that thing is that gives you uh, classes. Given. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is the first map. So. Luckily, this side quest is. Oh, hi! <laughs> What's that? <clears throat> oh, hello? Whoa! It's a monster! <gasps> no! Truff is not a monster! No way! It can talk! Please! Please! Don't hurt Truff! <laughs> Truff uh, what's is a monster, yes! But not a bad one! I'm sorry. You just surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either. A truff doesn't hurt humans. So please, don't hurt truff. Don't worry. We won't. So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to hear truff's story? Oh, thank you. Oh, Truff is looking for someone. <laughs> someone who can cut tall grass. Okay. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. <laughs> Truff has searched and searched, but <laughs> nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Who's ever doing yeah. the voice of Truff? Talk about doing a great looking job for a needle in a haystack. So, you need someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! Someone with a weapon like yours! Yes! You could do it! Sure, I guess we could, but. You, you will help Truff? Oh, thank you! Thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help. But they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. You can't have that one. Aye, well, they were that. probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. Uh, like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. Right, let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Human's best friend part one. I was about to say, this guy feels like he's a guy that's going to be showing up every now and then. Uh, Truff dropped a precious sparkly shiny ring. Snort, he's been trying to look for it, but the grass is too long. Uh, Truff needs some help who can cut the grass down. Please, you have to help. Special action in the field part one. Let's take another look at the special actions you can use while on adventure. Press Y to swing your weapon sword when you're out in the field or exploring the dungeon. Who knows what kind of exciting items are awaiting you discover beneath the sign, so I have to see if you can find the truff ring. Truff ring. Found it. Is this your ring, Truff? Oh, oh no, it's not broken. Yes, it's that's just it. Like it was. That's it. Humans found it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh, oh, it's not Truff's. <laughs> it's for Truff's friend. Truff's friend, uh, <laughs> human. What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes. <laughs> he rescued Truff then. Truff and he became friends. Best friends. <laughs> He's the one who taught Truff how to speak. 
So that's how you learned, huh? Huh. Nice. Weird. Okay. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wonder if I could just like flat out ignore him. Well, not ignore the first part of the quest, but like ignore the that. Stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed. Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow. Golden glow? Chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring. Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But uh, Truff can't fight. Humans can, though. Humans can fight them for me, yes. Come on, uh, let's sneak up on them. Uh... Sure, I guess. Let's do it. I uh, can also swing your weapon to give yourself. Okay, you uh, They're just basically telling me the same stuff that I already know. It's like, hey. Ha! Looks like luck's in our side. So, time to do what I've been doing. Let me at him! Which is this. Let us continue on our way. Dwarfs too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where is that, Truff? Not a problem, Truff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes, Truff is never going to lose it again. <laughs> But you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes! Of course, of course, of course! Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. So hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. Ah. Then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. <clears throat> Wait, do you know anything about this person? His name? A anything? Truff's friend's name is Mitch. Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. If Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. So, you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? Huh, I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans! <laughs> Your song are gonna keep writing in my bed. Completed! Party chat. Party chat. A talking monster. Ah, that took a while to load up. A talking monster, eh? Whatever, next! You? Yes. And one who is fond of humans, no less. Well, certain humans, at least. So he's looking for his friend, huh? Yes, I wonder what sort of person he might be. No, dear average bloke, that's for sure. There's not many to fri make friends with a monster. Yeah, considering all the trouble Truff's going to, going to to find him, he must be something pretty special. Well, I hope he finds him. You think he'll be okay out there on his own? If he says the as he seems, I'm just, I'm, I'm sure he'll be just fine. Let us pray that you are right. Well, he might meet with a few twists and turns along the way. Well, that's what the good journey's all about, eh? Meanwhile, I'll be telling the tale of the mournful monster on the hunt for his long-lost friend at every tavern in the land. <laughs> Guess you're right. Traveling's all about the little surprises, huh? Bet we won't be bumping into another talking monster anytime soon. <laughs> never say never. Uh, okay, this one's down here. A Sagahagen. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't smack him over the head. 
We must make the most I of this opportunity. I think I know all their infos, right? Yes, I do. Yet greater. Oh, well. Lo and behold, literally the first one. Looks like we found that fisherman's knife. Aye. Just look at that sea, eh? I've seen it now. You'd never think it could rise up like it did. Yeah. The waves have died down some since the storm. But you should have seen it. I can imagine. Just goes to show how badly we need the crystals. I'm like, God damn it. This. Uh, everything all right, Lady oh. Emma? Wind's picking up. Looks like there's a storm brewing. Oh, that's just because I wear when he's the freelancer, today, by the way. Uh, if I may say so. I've been thinking about the past. Uh, reminiscing, eh? Something like that. Can't believe it's been 50 years already. Aye, 50 years is a... Wait, 50 years? Uh, Lady Emma, if you don't mind me asking... You don't mind me asking... You? I do mind you asking as it happens, you impertinent so-and-so. <laughs> I am a lady, you know. Yeah, but you're not that much of a lady, I, but... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> Ugh, stop with your bowing and scraping, it's embarrassing. Not that I mind seeing you show a bit of respect every now and then. If you can manage to take things more seriously once in a while, we might make a half-decent scholar of you one day. And when we do, I'll tell you. About the past, I mean. Wait, so what does that make me now? Quarter decent? Ah, uh, third and a bit. A uh, third and a bit. <laughs> it's got to be at least a quarter. Not even close. Have you forgotten the mark you got in that last test? It was your lowest ever. Quarter's too good for you, you great knucklehead. Knuckle? You've got a long, Knuckle. long way to go yet, and don't you go thinking otherwise. But if I can cram one thing into your thick skull in the meantime, let it be this. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. But she's dead now. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. <laughs> right. Better get this knife back to his rightful owner and claim our reward, eh? Just a, a nice couple drink. of drinks, okay? Aye, just a couple. Come on, let's shake a leg. I'm gonna get you blitzed and blitzed, ya so-and-so. Where's that? Oh, travel logs the thing at the top. Uh, in progress. Oh, I can have three things. Okay. Prologue, quest events, party chats, tutorials. Are you fucking kidding me? Even more? Granddad's gone out to listen to the wind again. Find the old man who's found the wind, okay. Oh, hi. That's my master's knife. Oh, thank That's you. my master's knife. Oh, thank I'm you drunk so, as fuck. so much. <laughs> Just like him. Warms the cockles of your heart, eh? 
Sure, I guess. So, you said this was your master's knife? Uh, it's very special. The king himself gave it to him. He must have done something pretty amazing to deserve a gift like that. Oh, he did. He changed fishing forever. See, back when he started, all the fishermen were disorganized, disgraceful ruffians. But he disgraceful cleaned them up, ruffians. taught them to take pride in their work, and gave them a real sense of purpose. The king was so impressed, he asked my master to become his fisheries minister. But my master refused. He didn't want to work in an office. He wanted to be out on the boats with the others. Choosing a life of hard graft over a cushy job with a posh title, eh? There's a lot to admire about that. There is, isn't there? Come to think of it, the king said the same thing when he presented him with the knife. My master kept fishing until his dying day. And when he finally passed on, he left me his prized possession. Keeps me safe out of the seas, it does. Your master sounds like a great man. <sighs> anyway, I owe you a drink. Many drinks, in fact. Tonight, on me. Oh, thank you kindly. Don't mind if I do. Just a couple, right? What are you suggesting? That we say no if it turns into more? And how's our pal here gonna feel about that, hmm? Uh, I guess you're right. Fine. That's the spirit! Parking! Bring us a bottle of your most expensive... Grog! Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking to new friends! I just got darts as a reward. There's no twinks. Okay, where are the other ones? There, 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 and there. Oh, uh, someone, anyone help? Do something about those horrible creatures. Okay, defeat some goblins. That I can do. Get some money out of it. That's easy. I need to get it back, but, but, but that means going there again. Get the frying boys book back, okay. And it's at the abandoned house, okay. What? Uh, what's that you say? Dinner time? Well, I don't care. I'm staying here. Who needs food? We can have the sweet melody of the breeze. Oh, just listen to that. Tell my granddad I'll be home as soon as the sublime simile of the wind has died down. Party chat. The suffering world. Everyone's suffering. Oh, that business with the sea going totally had a whole bunch of knockoffs, eh? The fact that. Yeah, and that's not easy being a man of the sea at the best of times. I bet the water level rising has put a bunch of useful landmarks out of sight. The tides are as messed up as that fisherman said. It won't even. I won't even want to go out there. It is not only the seas that have been affected, the whole world is suffering. We must put an end to these calamities. Calamities. It was a calamity that brought me here, huh? I was lucky enough that you found me when you did. But not everyone's been so lucky. Our knife-losing fisherman friend, for one. We need to help everyone who's been affected. And we will. We'll do whatever we can. Why? Even if we... Even if it's a wee thing like Return of Lost Knife, every little helps. Let's keep that in mind on our travels, eh? Yeah, B also helps you run. Oh, hi, you have a quest for me? <laughs> What's got you so excited, Adele? Me? Oh, I'm Dane rolling in the telling deep. me about all the local cuisine. Did you know Halcyonia is famous for its food? I can't wait to try some. Oh, yeah? What kind of food are we talking about here? All kinds, but seafood mainly. Shellfish and seasonal vegetable bouillon. A squid wrapped in seaweed. But the dish I like the sound of best is the silver smelt sautéed in lemon butter. Mmm. Silver smelt? People eat those things? You know what they are? Yeah, they're pretty rare. But sometimes they get tangled up in our nets. They look, well, 
kind of weird. Ugh. What kind of person would even think of taking a bite out of one of those? They're certainly not the prettiest. But you wait till you taste one. Mmm. Nothing brings out that flavor like a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. Pop a few nice fluffy potatoes on the side and there's simply nothing better. Oh, I have to try this. Sure. It I'll be sounds honest, that's delicious. Sounds delicious. I, I could go silver for silver smelt? Seriously? Do they really look all that disgusting? <laughs> Gosh! Now I really want to try some. Adele's cute as fuck, right. too. I'm I mean, everyone sold. is cute as fuck. I'll I love this I'll take the silver style. smelt and make it snappy. Ah, uh, there's just one thing, sorry. I should have mentioned this, but I got a little carried away. I'm afraid we're all out of butter. Have been for a while now. There's been word of a wolf on the road to the city, you see. The merchants we rely on are all too scared to make the trip. No ordinary wolf, mind you. They say it's the size of a small mountain and capable of eating a whole flock of sheep in one sitting. But if we get rid of it, you'll cook me some fish, right? Right? Well, yes, I suppose, but... Say no more. One giant wolf pelt coming up. You've really never seen a silver smelt, huh? Oh, quit sniping. Everyone's a winner. No more wolf for these guys to worry about, and I get to try something new. I love well, this. Come on! Where's the harm? Huh? Huh? You get pretty antsy when you're hungry. Hey! That's what everybody back home used to say. Who have you been talking to? Oh, I love her. Fine. Adele's my favorite character right. so far. I don't Where care. Where can we find this wolf? On the north road, if the rumor's to be believed. Great. Let's get out there and find it. For the sake of your livelihood. And Adele's stomach. I love that look on her face. Oh, I'd say the latter is your more immediate concern. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Oh, Go. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll be outside. Hey! Oh man. Guess I better get after her. Fenrir! Oh. Fuck. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, let me hand in the one quest that's like literally in here. He needs food when you have the sweet melody of the breeze? He said that? Dear me, he really is a stubborn old so-and-so. But he'll soon change his tune when you tell him we're having steak. Hellacian style and that it's bit best getting cold. Okay. Uh, as soon as I wrap up that quest, I'm going to end the part here. You again? Look, I already told you, I'll be heading home on my own sweet time. What's that? Steak? Hellacian style? And they're getting cold? Well, the music of the breeze is all well and good, but it only compares to steak now, does it? Oh, oh, I feel the winds of anticipation prepared to blow me home. So I wouldn't mind medium rare, would you? God, I could go for a steak right now. Mmm. Good steak with a little bit of, like, some, either some gravy or good steak sauce on it. <laughs> Did she really say that? The winds of anticipation, indeed. Dear old granddad, still so full of beans. He's nothing but trouble, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, I better get grilling. Medium rare, you say. This will put even more of a spring in his step. Let's just hope he doesn't give him actual wind. Alrighty, guys. That is going to do it for this part of Let's Play Bravely Default 2. In the next part, guys, uh, we'll wrap up those other sub-quests, uh, side stories, and most likely continue on the journey of where we're going. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a hey, click. Comment down below what you like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know what you guys think of, uh... What do you think of the sub-stories of this? I honestly, I like it, uh, how it's all set up. And they're easy to find because of this view. And I guess the map does it some, if I'm not moving around on something, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. So let's find me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG, Kim, Kid, Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.